Today's date is February 15th, 2018. We're here with Sean and with Arlen, his significant other. Uh -huh. And uh, tell us the story about what you were like uh, before you started getting these 10 passes. I had total adrenal exhaustion, you know, real fatigue, trying to drag my ass around, you know, being unable to do it. Um, kind of psychologically feeling really down because I had never experienced this before. And so a little bit anxious, some kind of agitation, physical agitation, you know, wondering was this my lot, you know, for the next however long more I have Wait for much. me. I lost a lot of weight. I had lost um, over uh, 25 pounds in the course of uh, a year and couldn't, uh, I couldn't stop the slide, let alone reverse it. And now I managed to put on 11 pounds uh, since uh, mid-December, which I would know just uh, two months ago, as well as feeling much more energy, you know, get, able to get out to walk again. I was a great trekker. So I'm um, a uh, great uh, athlete. So, so you've been getting yeah. our tent passes for about right. two months. Right. Your health turned around totally as soon yeah. as you started getting these. Yeah. You've you yeah. started gaining weight again. Your energies come weight. up. Yes, about mental, cognitive, emotional, physical. Yeah, like across the board, uh, and especially if sp uh, spiritual. That's very important to me. I heard you guys talk about this. This is really important to me because, for me, there's um I believe I call it a preconception contract that people come in here with a mission and a cohort group with whom they're uh, supposed to kind of uh, uh, contribute to the world what they've come to do. And so being able to do that again is very important to me. Yeah. Very good, thank yeah, you. Can welcome. I post your story on Absolutely. YouTube? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Arlen, do you have any, Ar Arlen is a naturopath. Do you have yes. any comments or anything to say? No, I mean, this, oh, this has all been very different for me. I mean, I've seen the prolozone injections, but the, the 10 pass is something new. And I, I noticed from the first time he had one, his energy level just increased dramatically. So um, as long as we can do it, we're going to keep doing it because I can't see any downside. So as long as he keeps getting healthier, that's all. I Have want you guys him. been to a conventional doc about this before coming here? Well, Sean was actually hospitalized because he got so bad because initially what was happening is... Before he got exhausted, he was, as I said, spiking all catecholamines, adrenaline. His blood pressure went through the roof, so we had to. He actually was hospitalized. So, uh, what did they say it was? You know, they weren't really sure. They weren't really sure, but they, it, it we we had to go to a number of different people, a number of different. We were how many different emergency rooms, Sean? A lot of Sanford. Healdsburg Hospital, Santa Rosa. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. the kind of diagnoses I get at Stanford Emergency Room was maybe I should look to see what are in the supplements I'm giving him. That was, <laughs> after they couldn't find anything else, that was <laughs> what they said to me, so. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So you went to the best of the, the best. best of the best. Top of Stanford, the line. Stanford, Palo Alto. Top of the line. And they were unable yeah. to do anything for you. You've come in here and mm -hmm. we've turned you around. What did the ozone was the main thing? Can you right. can you attribute? We did some chelation as well. Yeah. yeah. I think that may have been for heavy metals. Right. Yeah. Okay. And they didn't uh. even raise that. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome. Have him inject him right in the prostate. So how you funny were, how funny a story do you want, Robert? You were you were having trouble with urination too, weren't very you? Very for an extended time, yeah. What was going on with the urination I, before I this? I couldn't urinate, and when I did, it was just dribbling out. And so finally, I went to uh, the emergency room and got catheterized. Yeah. And that was just before the fire started. So I suppose if the catheter was drawn then on the Monday, and uh, the hospital was you know out of out of uh, operation. So I went on uh, YouTube, got a video, how to extract the catheter, which is just as well, because I didn't realize there was a uh, balloon at the end of it. I would have just yanked it out. Oh, <laughs> boy. Big problem. Big problem. So I took it out myself, and you know, I did the ozone treatment. I also took a um, homeopathic remedy called Coculus. Yeah, you know. it was Costicum. Costicum, Costicum at least. Costicum, Costicum okay. at least. And I think that made a huge difference. So what has yeah. the ozone done for your urine, urination? This is blood ozone now we're doing, 10 pass ozone. What right. has that done for your I've urination? I've been peeing like a racehorse. All right. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Nice bonus. Yeah.